Eclipse. Field Trip Monday, sponsored by Sanders and Ford. These parties going on all around the country today, including right here in Phoenix, of course. Uh, yeah, maybe a great place for hands-on learning would be the Arizona Science Center. Sure makes sense to me, hosting its own party today. Lita DeFlorius is there. She's showing us how they are counting it down until the big event. Yeah, so I have to tell you, we got here at like 4.15. Good thing we did. Take a look at the line. Uh, it goes on and on and on and on. Hopefully every single person in that line is going to get a hold of these glasses. Remember, only the first 500 people who buy a ticket will get one. But look at all of the people here, everyone here for the same thing, to see me. No, I guess it's the eclipse. All right, hi, good morning to you guys. Can we get a good morning, Arizona? Good morning, Arizona. Nice work. So, of course, these glasses are so hard to come by. Don't you worry. They have so many ways to do it. If you have a box, you just poke a little hole in there, put a white piece of paper on the other side, and then you wear it, as I modeled earlier today. Not only practical, but stylish as well. And then also they have all kinds of viewing apparatuses. This is their solar TV. The kids have been finding the sun in there as well. So yeah, Olivia, I know you love the cracker idea with that saltine where you just hold that above a piece of paper and you can see through the holes and watch the eclipse, but you can also just dig around in your own kitchen, get a strainer, a colander. You hold that above a piece of paper and you will see all those crescent moons once it starts. So at 913, everyone who is here who went inside, they're gonna say, hey, come outside because it's time for the eclipse. You get to sit and and hang around here on the lawn and watch everything as it happens and uh, you'll have a really good time but not only that you get to learn so much because everyone here is ready to talk about the eclipse what it means what we can learn how long it's going to last and of course the number one thing is how to watch it hey did you make that yeah i made it you did yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What's your name? Shree Varun. You can just call me Varun. And how old are you, Varun? I'm 11. Nice job. So you could do this. You can make friends with Varun if you don't get the uh, glasses. And he made an awesome box. So yeah, plenty of ways for you to watch it safely. And of course, we've got all the information you need online at azfamily.com. But again, if you're looking for a party, I think this is it. <laughs> Good morning, Arizona. Of course, we are all ready for the eclipse, and we are here at Zuni Hills Elementary School where the kids, they've got their glasses in hand. We're going to talk to them after the break about this exciting event, and also we'll speak with their NASA-trained teacher. And our coverage of the solar eclipse continues. We are less than half an hour away until it begins. Stay with us.